Hi, this is Phil Fry, Director of Business Finance for the Sun Prairie Area School District, presenting the 23-24 proposed budget for the September 11th, 2023 board meeting to the public and to the board. So I wanted to start off with what is the definition of the budget? This comes straight from DPI. And I think sometimes people think a budget's going to be an exact financial document uh, that you have at the start of the year, and that document doesn't really change throughout the year, and it ends up at the end of the year exactly as you planned. Well, that is not really how a budget works. The budget is really a plan of what's financially we think is going to happen in the district, both our proposed revenues and expenditures for a given accounting period. So our accounting period is July 1st through June 30th. But uh, my main takeaway for hopefully the board and the public is the budget is just that, it's a plan. Things change throughout the year. We have literally tens of thousands of line items in our budget. Um, people get married or um, we have to hire new teachers and things like that. So it is a plan, um, kind of a li living document. And then at the end of the year, we close the books and we report on how that budget came out. So just started, wanted to start with that. So the school board has heard many reports on the budget and had uh, budget building processes at this point. So going all the way back to last December 5th, the school board heard a report on enrollment projections and enrollment uh, projections are very important to some Prairie School District. The board also approved on December 5th, the strategic based budget and staffing planning calendar, which kind of drives the budget process. Then on February 13th, 2023, the school board acted on their Big Rocks uh, budget planning meeting. April 10th, the school board reviewed the five-year budget forecast model. May 22nd, the board heard a report on the fixed budget inputs. July 10th, uh, the board approved the capital maintenance and improvement plan and also reviewed the preliminary budget on July 10th. August 14th, about a month ago, we had a, I did a detailed presentation on the budget uh, and had a public hearing on the budget where um, people from the public could speak and the school board also asked questions. So you can see there's been many, many steps that the school board has had getting to this point of the 23-24 proposed budget. So I mentioned August 14th, we had the public hearing. There really um, hasn't been significant changes to the budget with one exception. That exception, the board approved a compensation plan for all employee groups will receive a 6% base wage increase. So in the preliminary budget, we had a 4.7% 4 .7 increase in compensation. The board at their last meeting decided to go um, for, decided to go to a 6% base, wa base wage increase. That money, which is approximately $1 million, will need to come from fund balance. So remember what I said at the beginning, uh, the budget's a plan. Um, right now, the plan is if everything worked out 100% perfectly, which it won't, we would dip into fund balance about $1 million. We will see how the budget plays out over the next uh, nine months and see if we have to dip into fund balance or it could even be more than that. But at this point, the plan is about $1 million would come out of fund balance. Just some budget facts I want to make sure the board understands and the public. Our combined budget, when you add in our general fund and all the other funds that we have for debt service, food service, is a $171.1 million operate, or budget, $171.1 million yearly budget for all those items. We really focus on strategic goals when we're building the budget, and we had a lot of good discussion with the board on that over the last few months. We added $1.1 million of funding for four strategic budget items. The state increased the revenue limit for all school districts by $325, which we've had a lot of discussion on that. That does not come close to inflation, um, but that is what the state is giving districts, $325 more. The budget was built on a decrease of nine students. Um, today is actually the first day of school. We'll be giving board the board an update on our enrollment as we see those numbers come in in our third Friday count. Um, but we're hoping that uh, we have a actually an increase in students, but we'll time will tell on that. We've added 8.2 full-time 
uh, staffing positions for budget initiatives, grant funded or enrollment. And the last one uh, was just at Prairie View this last few weeks for sixth grade. The daily general fund budget is 121 million. The debt retirement budget is 22.7 million. We've also planned on using $2.7 million of ESSER dollars, ESSER three dollars. That money, if you remember, uh, will run out this year or at the start of next fiscal year. So we need to plan for that. And as I mentioned on the previous slide, the budget uses $1 million of fund balance at this point. So the last thing I just want to mention, this is where the board, um, it's called 6590, that's by state statute. All school districts and actually local governments need to approve a budget with 6590s. It's just a, a real detailed report. I'm not going to click on these attachments, but you can. Um, and that's how we present the board, um, the budget adoption to the public. And then also the publication report goes to our official newspaper, The Star, and gets published in that. It's not a, I don't know if it's a real great document um, because I think we can go in much more detail in, in presentations, but that is, again, the 6590s is what the state requires uh, school boards to approve. So tonight or on uh, September 11th, that's what the school boards will officially approve. As always, if you have questions on the budget um, or my report, just give me a call. Thank you.